Hi, I'm dermatologist Dr. Leslie Bauman, and today I'm answering the question, are sunscreens dangerous? There are two main categories of sunscreen. There's one category that we call mineral or physical, and those have either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in them. The second category is called chemical sunscreens, and there are many different chemical sunscreens. And there's a big difference between the two. In some cases, sunscreens are both physical and chemical. For example, some physical sunscreens have a chemical sunscreen like oxybenzone added. So if you want a reef safe sunscreen, you need a physical sunscreen without oxybenzone. You can find a link in the description to get oxybenzone free sunscreens. This chart shows you the main differences between chemical and physical sunscreens. You can see that physical sunscreens have less downsides and are reef safe sunscreens if they do not have any added chemical sunscreens. The safest sunscreen, they are also safer for marine life and reefs. So the safest sunscreens are physical ones with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. The problem is that people prefer the sheer chemical sunscreens and the best sunscreens are the ones you will use every day. Both chemical and physical sunscreens have pros and cons. We're going to talk about chemical sunscreens first. The chemical sunscreens can absorb the, the power from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. They absorb into your skin and actually can get into your bloodstream and have been detected in your urine. You don't really want chemicals in your bloodstream and your urine if you don't need them. My advice is to use chemical sunscreens on your face and physical sunscreen for your body. That way you do not absorb as many chemicals. The problem is that many physical sunscreens do not do a good job of blocking UVA, the type of radiation that causes the most damage. I manage that by using sun protective clothing on my body over the physical SPF. Some chemical sunscreens like oxybenzone and octanoxate are banned in Hawaii due to fear that they will hurt marine life and damage reefs. This is controversial, but my view is, why risk it? Choose sunscreens that we know are marine safe. So I'm a big proponent of the physical sunscreens. They do not get in your skin, they stay on the surface, they reflect away light, and they are very, very safe. The problem is, they don't really have as high of an SPF as a lot of the chemical sunscreens, and sometimes they can be kind of white and have this white cast and not look good on skin of color. Luckily, there are a lot of new physical sunscreens out now that are sheer, that don't feel sticky, and that protect the skin from sun much better than the older ones. Some of my favorite physical sunscreens are Pavis, which is the new physical sunscreen that has diamonds that help trap free radicals and reflect ultraviolet light away from the skin. You can find a link in the description about this interesting sunscreen. For a physical sunscreen that feels like makeup foundation and comes in many colors, try the Beautiful Skin Superfluid from Rationale Skin Care. If you want more affordable options, I love the entire range of physical Elta MD sunscreens. So in general, sunscreens are not dangerous, especially if you use the physical sunscreens and we know that the sun can cause skin cancer. We know the sun is dangerous. So I recommend to you to wear a sunscreen every single day, at least on your face, and then all over your body when you're going to be in the sun for over 15 minutes. Make sure you do what you can to protect your skin because not only does sun cause skin cancer, but it causes aging and dark spots and rosacea too. In the description below, you can find a link to a collection of my favorite physical sunscreens that are chemical sunscreen free and safe for humans, children, marine life, and reefs. These safe sunscreens can also be used if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. If you have any more questions, hit subscribe and come to see our other playlists because we have many different playlists talking about different subjects. You'll see a dry skin playlist, a sensitive skin, rosacea, aging, whatever your skin concern is, I probably have a playlist for it. If I don't, email me at info at and we'll create one. Have a great day.